now we're on the topic of Toa here. I had a dream last night. And then, in my dream, Reen says to Toa, I love you, after that. It's like, I love you. And then he walks away, and I'm like, <laughs> in the dream, because I'm recording it in the dream, like like I'm doing here. And I'm like, oh, did you, did you guys see that? Wait, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Reen told Toa he loves her. And I'm like, oh my god. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> Are you sure? I thought it was thin air. Boo, you guys are too persistent. I'm not gonna let you catch me though. Our race is gonna have to wait. <laughs> Very well, I look forward to seeing you around again. For sure, catch you later. Milliam. Wait up, Milliam. Off she goes. Trails of Cold Steel. So, we're looking for Milliam. She seems to want to probably go for a swim, maybe. As it seems to be... Wow, look at all the water. That's gotta be refreshing. I kinda wanna take a dip. Phew, we finally found you. Oh, hey, Reen. Hey, do you know if I get, if I, hold on, let me restart that. <clears throat> hey, do you know if I get to take swimming lessons while I'm here? I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't. Has Instructor Sarah given you your school swimsuit yet? Nah, all I got was my uniform. She told me I'd get it tomorrow. I can't wait though. I wish I could go swimming right now though. Swimming lessons aren't quite as laid back as you might think. <laughs> you guys think too much. Besides, all this pool really takes... Uh, all this pool talk really makes me want to go for a swim. Oh, I know. Uh, Milliam? Ta-da! I can wear this. It's totally waterproof and dries in no time. Now it's no problem if I get wet. Wow. On your mark, get set, go! Milliam, are you okay? <laughs> that was way too fun. Hop on in, the water's nice and cool. She just doesn't care, does she? Unbelievable. We should go get her. Huh? Where'd Milliam go? Did you see where she went, Monica? Um, you mean the crazy girl who jumped down here? She just left. She was heading towards the girls' locker room, so you probably just missed her. She must have run because she didn't want us to haul her back to the dorm. The hunt continues. Hmm. Well, I don't think she... No, she's still... Oh, no, she's on the rooftop of the main building now. Wowee! There's so much cool stuff here! So this is Thor's military academy, huh? I think I'm gonna like it here. Ooh, I wonder what the view from the rooftop's like. Ah, she sees the old schoolhouse. Hmm. Well, the path leading to it. 
should have guessed you'd be here. Hey, guys! Did you come looking for me again? Don't give me that hey, you guys. Indeed, we've been all over the academy chasing after you. Let's go back to the dorm. <laughs> nice snap gear face. <laughs> Chase you at us on, you're just giving up that easily? Well, I'm seen enough for one day. Tomorrow's a free day, so that's when I can really start exploring. One could win back to back fights with this kind of energy. <sighs> She's sure a lively girl. Yeah, let's put it like that. Alright, let's get her back to the dorm before she changes her mind. Sounds good. Don't run off on nothing again. Wowzers, that was so much fun! This town's got a nice feel to it, too. I think we're gonna like it here. Ooh, I wonder where I should go tomorrow. <sighs> well, I'm glad someone's having fun. Though, maybe you could spare a thought for the people who's been running all over the school grounds looking for you? Yeah. Oh yeah, we should exchange Arcus numbers, Milliam. We need to be able to reach you quickly if there's ever an emergency. Sure thing. Um, my number is, uh... Exchange numbers with million. Tell everyone else when you get back to the dorms, okay? We shall. <laughs> Yay! Oh yeah, I should try calling Lecter and Claire later. I bet they'll be surprised. <sighs> she really does seem like a typical 13-year-old girl for the most part. Makes for a perfect disguise, though. Incidentally, what happened to that large construct that usually accompanies you? Huh? You mean Whammy? He's right here. What? Come on out. What up? <laughs> hmm. Milliam, don't call him out here or you'll... Whoa, what's that? It's like a huge silver doll. This is so cool, is it yours? Awesome! <laughs> sure is, isn't he? Or, well, whatever. <sighs> you can be so troublesome sometimes. <sighs> Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, taking care of Milliam. If she's going to be living at the Academy, I need to find some way to drill some common sense into her. Eventually, we were able to pull the kids away and convince them to go back to their homes. And after forcing Milliam to hide or get one again, we made the trek back to the dormitory, sighing all the way. Hey guys, welcome back. Ah, Crow. Welcome back, everyone. Just been making myself at home here. C Crow? What brings you to our dormitory? Well, I am a member of Class 7 now. So I've been given the go-ahead to move into this dorm now. What? Seems awfully sudden. But man, yeah. Sharon sure makes some amazing coffee. You know, I feel like Crow's gonna try to kill me in my sleep. If I'd had a cup of that, I would have been banging down the door to join Class 7 months ago. <laughs> you flatter me, Master Crow. Would you like me to bring some of the cakes I baked earlier as well? even need to ask? Anyway, sorry it kind of came out of nowhere, but it's good to be here. Sorry about the gulps. Looks like he's already made himself at home. <laughs> so you're gonna be living here too, huh? Yep. Us newcomers have to stick together, right? I just finished hauling all my stuff over from my old dorm. Looks like I ended up in the room right across from yours, Reen. Oh my god. This is too much. He's gonna be knocking down our doors and trying to kill us. I see. I can already see things getting a lot more lively around here. He's gonna be like, Reen! Knock, knock, wake up! Ooh, man. Moving all those things really tired me out. I was hoping I could just stow all my junk in my old room, but Toa wouldn't let me. Of course not. That's just common sense. 
<laughs> you must be pretty exhausted. Well, I suppose now's as good a time as any to officially welcome you to the Class 7 dormitory. The pleasure's mine. And seriously, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. Come on, loosen up a little. We're classmates now. Just treat me like one of the gang and we're golden. You mm. sure about that? All right, one of the gang it is. Feels weird to think of you that way after all this time, though. Well, if you say so. <laughs> I don't think I've got anything to worry about with you. Oh, you got a lot to worry And if you guys don't mind, I want to get in on the action when you explore the old schoolhouse tomorrow. Too bad. Gotta get back in the groove with my Arcus again, after all. Huh? A schoolhouse? Who'd want to go to school on their day off? Well, we've got this, uh, this special schoolhouse here. Rain explained the labyrinth beneath the old schoolhouse to Milliam. Whoa, really? That sounds kind of cool. I want to come too! <sighs> how did I know you were going to say that? Didn't I just get done telling you how dangerous it is? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. As long as I've got Lammy, it'll be easy peasy. And if you didn't take me with you, I'd just break down the door and come after you. Well, then you're gonna have to. I expect you would make good on that promise, too. All right, all right. Have it your way. So I'm gonna have to take Crow and Milliam next time? I'll be sure to let you and Crow know when I'm planning on heading into the old schoolhouse tomorrow. You can be the support members. But don't just go wandering in there on your own without us, all right? Yes, sir! Oh, I can't wait to see what it's like down there! It depends on what your level is if you be an attack member, Milliam. I used you once. So exciting! I might not even be able to sleep tonight! Well, if you don't, then you're not coming. It's a labyrinth full of monsters here, not a theme park. <laughs> Looks like I better give my pistols a little TLC tonight. Ah, yes. Level 5, Link Master. So what do you get from that? Ah, the rush gets powered up, yes. Well, nice. And that concludes my overview of the next field study schedule. How are things coming along on your end, Instructor Valstein or Valstein? I forget. Well, I've contracted all the relevant authorities. Contacted. Did I say contracted? And I've also considered the group placement of our two transfer students. Excellent. Then let me ask you once more. Are you both certain that you're in favor of going forward with this? I do feel like it may be a bit early for them, but I see no reason not to. As students here, they're going to have to face it sooner or later. This is going to be the actual war, like, when we actually fought. Well, because we're not in our uniforms again. So that might not happen until Chapter 6. But we're actually going to deal with actual, like, the war and stuff that might happen. Well, it will happen. But it hasn't happened just yet. I am in full support. Furthermore, I have already secured the Lieutenant General's permission to proceed. Very well then, we will continue as planned. This may be a difficult reality for the students of Class 7 to face, but I can only hope that grappling, it with, grappling with it now will help guide them down the right path. Yeah, down the path of insanity. Signs and omens, oof. Hey out in the dorm! Pretty much now, because I got war at like the max um, link. Oh wow, that's what happens when they get the max link. I think I won't choose Wara for like anything else that's kind of like choose who you want to take with you on this little thing. If it's not like for the schoolhouse or things like that. I'm not going to take her with me. I'm still going to do her events, of course, but I'm not going to do any other thing. So, no one was... Well, Million might be upstairs now. Oh, Laura. It may be incredibly hot, but on the bright side, the swimming club is that. Much more of a refreshing experience. Especially now that Monica has been improving her times by leaps and bounds. I should learn from her example and keep improving myself every day. I see. 
Oh, yeah, she actually has the Mishi plush in here. Uh, Emma is not in here. Must be downstairs or something. Hey, Fee. Bunch of shoes. I wonder which ones I'll wear tomorrow. Hmm. I guess the... Yeah. <laughs> I never knew you were so... You were, uh... I never knew you were so discerning about your shoes. I guess. I mean, it's like she wears kind of the same shoes every day. I've got lacrosse practice tomorrow, but this is not one I'm looking forward to. All because Ferris refuses to stop pestering me about competing with her. I wish she'd just stop it. She hates you, I'm afraid. What's that picture all about then? What's that picture all about then? I don't know what that picture's all about. So this is Millions' room. My God, it is so kid-blank. There's that thing. Wow, what are all these? A bunch of pages. Man, this is so kid-like. Hey, Reen, what's up? I got my room all nice and tidy now. Wow, this brace is pretty cute now that it's all fixed up. You've even got dolls in here and everything. <laughs> I know, right? I just wish I was allowed to bring Whammy out in the dorm. He'd really tie the place together. Yeah, that probably isn't a good idea. It's a pretty old building, and you'd get in trouble if you ended up smashing your room's walls or the floor. Hmm, I guess. What a bummer. Oh well, I'll just take him to the park when I want to play with him. It's not like he's a dog or something. She's got a computer there, too. Uh, Usus. <laughs> hey there, Usus. What's that you're reading? Oh, it's just you. Don't surprise me like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Is that a letter from your brother? Not quite. It's nothing terribly important. It dawns on me now that tomorrow will be our first free day since Crow and Milliam joined us. You'll have to watch Milliam like a hawk to ensure that she doesn't stir up any trouble. <laughs> Wait, why is that my responsibility? <laughs> the dorm's bound to become a lot more lively now that Crow and Milliam are living with us. I can't help but wonder what sort of wind those two will blow into our class. I suppose only the goddess herself knows. Let's hope it's a good one. Tomorrow's the big day. We'll be uh, we'll be having our performance at the church. Huh. <laughs> Just thinking about it is giving me butterflies in my stomach. Hmm, not sure what my schedule is going to be like tomorrow, but I'll definitely come by if I have the time. Thanks. It'd be great to have you there cheering me on. I'm helping fill in for who, whatever, so he's counting on me too. That will definitely be a um event right there. The very fate of Chess Club rides on tomorrow's match. That will be an event too. I'll have to use every spare minute between now and then to sharpen my skills. Wow, you're really fired up about this. Good luck, Machias. Thanks. Okay, let's talk to Crow, I guess. Why does he... Why does he... He has two uniforms, huh? Well, his room is pretty bory. Oh, my God. Bro. Yo, sure didn't take you long to pay me a visit. Who would have thought we'd end up right across the hall from each other? <laughs> Guess you're just fated to be part of my life, huh? <laughs> so you say. Still, it feels strange knowing you'll be living here from now on. It all happened so suddenly that it hasn't really sunk in yet. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to hold back your joy in getting to live with a cool second year all the time. Yeah, I guess you did help me out in a big way last month, down the old schoolhouse. Though I couldn't help but notice you've got quite a collection of games here. Sure do. I brought them all the way over from my old dorm. I'm not really smelling like a rose as far as credits go, but you gotta give yourself a break now and then. 
wise words, though in your case I get the impression you've never been all that busy to begin with. Anyway, we're classmates and dorm buds now, so be sure to keep it casual between us. I'm sure you'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> I'll try, at least. Where's this game's at, actually? That's his darts. What's that? Munitions box or something? Oh yeah, he's got cards, he's got the blade. Or Gate of Avalon, as some can call it. Hey! I see the shit you're pulling there. Lady Sarah will be returning home today, late today. She made mention of an important discussion with the principal. With the principal? I wonder what, the, what that entails. A small number of possibilities come to mind. However, I believe they are most likely discussing what highly difficult task to assign to you next. I really hope not. Huh? What's Celine doing here? Ah, uh, <laughs> she seems to have made her way in. Did something happen, Celine? Here. Maybe she's hungry. Meow. Hmm, no, it doesn't look that way. If only we could understand her. Um, yes, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> yeah, if only we could. This is when you're where Instructor Sarah sweeps, I suppose. Or maybe... No, this is where Sharon sweeps. Sharon would sweep on the bottom floor, I think. Okay, time to go to the dorm. I mean, we are at the dorm. I mean my room. Let's go to bed. Let's go to sleep. Should I call it a night? At least we don't have Celine telling us to go to bed. And you know what? I found out that Fee is voiced voices Morgana in Persona 5, and I freaking hate I hate Morgana telling me to go to bed, but I like Fee. I just gotta try to not think about it, or I might start to not like Fee anymore. Because then I'll just think of Morgana. Ah, yeah, that sound. Don't you just love hearing that in the night? In the day. Okay, what you give us, Toa? Yep, old schoolhouse. Hmm. Door seven mysteries. Yeah, only one side quest. Looks like there's uh, quite a few today. Toa seemed pretty swamped when I saw her too. Not sure what it is that's keeping her so busy, but I want to do what I can to lighten the burden. And then there's the old schoolhouse too. I'll have to free some time up for that. Reveal. I guess we'll just have to see what turns up this month. I promised to tell Crow a million when I was going, so I'll have to give them a call when I'm ready to head in. Oh, are you leaving early today? Yeah, I was just about to head out. <laughs> Do take care, then. The sky is looking a little ominous today, so I suggest taking an umbrella. You sure? It seems like another boiling summer day to me. Perhaps it is right now, but I have a hunch it won't last the day. Either way, I pray you'll have another fruitful day. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. I'll see you later, then. Special Ops uniform? Oh, Vermillion. You freaking idiot. I'm like, wait, special ops, huh? Yeah, we, well, she's wearing that right now. Titanium coat? Where's mine? <laughs> well, I might as well as equip them with some good stuff, I guess. Hmm. Where's some real good? You put the Holy Spear on. I'm just putting random stuff on them. Don't care if it works for them or not. Put the random stuff on. I don't care if it works well or not. I really wish the, you know, I wish I would just keep it and I can just take it off myself and not have the game do it for me. Maybe sometimes I don't want the game to do it for me. Maybe I'm the one who wants to do it. Uh, 
Okay, whatever. Oh yeah, and then I gotta do theirs, but I gotta open. Well, actually, theirs are all open, so it don't matter. Nah, I don't want that. Crescent mirror, though. That's a beaut. Everyone needs it. Oh god, I gotta put it back on them, too. Oh, I'm not doing that right now. It's a waste of my time. So we got four now. So we got Crow, Elliot, Gaius and Eusis, Milliam, Emma, Elisa, and Wara. So I guess we'll do one with Lisa, Emma, Laura, and Elliot. Cause why not? Elliot's our man. He is best boy. How are you doing this time? Yeah, don't forget about the attack that happened there. Who knows what the evening will hold for us? Manly munchies, deep frying. Cool. I don't want to talk. Screw off. I might need. No, I don't need one. Where's some contact lenses? We need some contact lenses for Emma. Stat! The woman is beautiful without glasses. Are you just trying to tease me? Like, seriously, what is this crap? Uh, that's a... Uh, that's a... Those are good, but you don't need them. Hello. I've actually had the pleasure of shopping at, at their main branch in Heimdall. Really? I'm so jealous. Can you show me around if we ever get the chance to go? The general goods. Err. You're always something. Yo, Vita, you up in here? Nope. Misty's like never here. You wanna know why? getting very toasty these days. When the temperature is high, flowers need lots of water to stay healthy. Well, yeah. Wonder how long this chapter is gonna be. Last chapter was kinda long to me. Essence of a cross, huh? Take a look at the instruments. Hmm. Let's look at the books. Looks like they got a new bow. Uh, it's an event, of course. All the way down here. Wait, I already looked at cookies. Deep frying? Woo! I'm a deep frying. I wish it wouldn't throw you out of the inventory, man. I already read this book. Ow! Now! Someone! Where's Woo Baby? Cross, and then the big book of instruments. I wonder if Elisa's read this. I should ask her about it later. Maybe we will. Then to go down. Big book of instruments. This book's a joy to read. I bet Elliot would like this.
advanced court fencing. The explanations in here are really thorough. Maybe I should discuss this with Yusa sometime. Well, level up. Counterattack and cover. And we already got that rush too. Increase the power of rush. Man, do I wish things didn't just copy. <laughs> Like what other two they're gonna give you in seven? Because seven <laughs> in two in Trails of Cold Steel two the link goes up to seven. So I wonder what they'll give you like with six and seven. I should go fishing. I don't want to fish. That stuff will mostly be done in New Game Plus, of course. So where's the husband? Oh my! Good afternoon. It's rather warm today, isn't it? <laughs> Of course, that's not an issue for me, since I'm never doing any more chores. Oh. Um. That's a nice... paper. On the one side, you can just see through it. Does your dad ever... Re oh, oh. Oh, God. Where's the kid? Oh, God. Oh, no. Um. Oh. That might have had a bad ending. Kids not here. Oh, Reen, come here a sec. You know, you've gotten a real air of confidence since you first.